if you want to know how this turned to this keep watching hello guys and welcome back to my channel i'm here with another video and this video is how i clear wrinkles on fabric <laughs> fabric backgrounds fabric backgrounds like this it can be any type of fabric just you know wrinkles and it can also be on clothes you know wrinkles on clothes but for the purpose of this video i'm you know clearing the wrinkles on the background so i'm going to be showing you guys two methods for this video i picked this image that i took of a girl in my house abigail so i took this photo for the purpose of this video this is the before i did little touches i you know color graded and this is the after i kind of like how it is so i'm going to merge these layers together shift click and ctrl e okay so the first method is using frequency separation and i got this frequency separation action from prince mason on youtube you guys can check him out his work is really really good like i'm in love with what it does anyways i got this action and some other actions and some lots from him so i'm going to be using this frequency i will leave the radius at 14 pixels yeah so frequency separation is divided into two there's the high frequency and there's the low frequency the low frequency is used to adjust the skin tones because basically it is used for retouching but you can use it for you know any other thing that works for you and there's the high frequency which is um adjusting the skin texture yes the skin texture yes so we are going to be using this high frequency for the background texture in this case i'm going to start with the low frequency copy then mixer brush to wet about 50 i like my evil numbers load 50 mix can be 60 flow can be 30 whatever works fine then definitely increase the size then what i'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the highlight into the shadows or the shadows into the highlight yeah i'll speed this process and show you guys when i'm done and this is the first method actually i don't prefer this method because it doesn't really get to the corners of the person in the image and if it actually does get to the corners it affects the person in the image so um let me just show you guys i'm just going to do this area okay so let's check what i've done so far this is the before and the after before and the after it's like totally cleared you know those highlights and unnecessary shadows so i'm going to take the high frequency copy and using the clone stamp tool you guys can see it is clearing out those wrinkles so the before after before after but actually i don't like using this method because this was the method i used to use before i later found out about the second method i'm going to show you guys um the second method is using solid color actually i got an idea from pixing perfect it's, it's also the best like it's like the father of photoshop so i got the idea from him then i was like okay i can add some more of my idea to like get what i want and i was like okay this actually came out fine so you guys can see it doesn't really work well because i cannot get into i cannot get too close to the person in the image if not i'm going to like let me let me zoom in and show you guys what i'm talking about so if i want to clone stamp this area you guys will see that it is taking part of our you know our clothes so i'm just going to undo that then zoom out um i'm going to delete this frequency then show you guys the next um the second method so for the second method um select then color range then using the first picker just select the color you can either select from here or you can select from here but i prefer selecting from here then the second picker to select the areas i want select 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 okay so it is kind of getting part of our body so i'm just going to reduce the fuzziness 
and I can erase the rest later using layer marks. So just stick with me. Then, okay. I think this is okay. So it has selected the areas I want to change. Then the next thing I'll do is adjustment, then solid color. You guys can see it's like totally erased all the um it's like it added a whole new background to it and here you can actually change the color amazing right amazing so i'm just going to stick with the orange then click on the layer mask or click to brush out this part that i don't need so i'm just going to pick my brush to opacity 100 flow 100 i'm making sure the foreground color is black because where i want to brush over is black I'm trying not to get to the white um, part of the image, so I'm reducing the size of the brush to allow me to get to those corners well. Then changing the foreground color to white to brush over the white part properly. Okay, so I'm done with that. Alt click to bring back the image and boom, here we have it um before after before after before after it helped me to even out the um, background so there's one thing i want to give you guys if um for instance you have a background that is purple and there is purple on the person's clothes you can just take your quick selection tool and select the person you know just deselect out click to deselect okay so this is just a rough selection and after selecting Go to your age saturation then take it down the person in the image is like completely colorless so then you can now start going to color range so when picking a color it won't pick any color from the person in the image because the person is already in black and white so once you are done with that you can just delete the use saturation and everything will come back to normal i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to say and if you do thank you um i think that's that i actually prefer this him solid color method because that's what i use most of the time for this image for this image for this image like basically on my images with wrinkled fabric backgrounds so thank you guys for watching my video um if you like this video if you have anything you want me to do for you you know tips and other things or if you have any tips for me you guys should let me know in the comment section don't forget to like, please. You guys should like my work. Follow me on Instagram. Yes, it's no snaps. Call me for shoots if you want me to shoot you. I'll put my email down or you can just message me on my social media. Um, Yes, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Share this video. It will help a lot of people. Share to your photographer friends or non-photographer friends that want to edit. Anyways, thank you guys for watching my... I say anyways a lot, my gosh. Thank you guys for watching my video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!